blessings in Jesus name evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries and I want to prophetically decree and declare and the government shall be upon his shoulder the true government of a kingdom that's within us that cannot be shaken my God guys we serve a king on a throne in a kingdom that cannot be shaken I want to do a show on that and you know of many people I'm seeing are disillusioned disappointed they didn't see win who they desire to win as the president of the United States but what do we do now guys what do we do now crawl up in a ball as men and women of faith no we continue with the Great Commission and the Great Commandment never put the Great Commission before the Great Commandment the Great Commission going into all the world preach the gospel every creature make this side and then the Great Commandment love the Lord thy God have no other gods before him that's the great commandment which needs to be before the great commission that's our mission the the things that's perplexing is i'm still seeing days after the inauguration people trying to explain what happened what didn't happen that it's still going to happen and i'm like dude just please go on with your calling preach christ and christ crucified let's stop trying to prove our point our agenda wrap god listen god's never gonna wrap around my agenda or your agenda we're gonna wrap around his agenda now before i continue it'd be an honor if you're new please subscribe i'm live every monday 9 p.m new york eastern prophesy in the word of the lord now let's this isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 for unto us i'm going to sneeze <laughs> oh my god help me now there was a time when i would just abort the video and start over because it's offensive and sneeze but you know what everyone in the comments say god bless you brother i'm kidding you isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 for unto us as a child is born Unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder. His name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government. God's got a government, which is his church that he's building, that he wants to see people discipled in. And become strong followers and militant, just radical Christians that can win souls and disciple them. Of the increase of his government peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom. So I wanted to just come on here and just say, hey, come on, let's get on with the program, God's program. Let's get our minds refocused, our hearts refocused. There needs to be any introspection or any inspection or any repentance. Let's see that take place now. I want to tell you who to put your faith in and your faith alone. You know, Jesus came. He said, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail upon this revelation. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ, my righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Lord, let us put our faith and our trust in you, not in an institution, not in a man or a woman, not in an agenda. Let us place our trust in Jesus and Jesus alone, the word of God. Let us not place our trust in man. It's vain, vain to trust in man. Don't place your trust in man. Are you kidding? You know, as an evangelist, I've been doing this over 30 years now. I wasn't always full time and I'm really not. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business person. But most people could write books. I could write encyclopedias from the things I've seen from being in ministry three decades. I can tell you stories. If I told you these stories, you would need, you would think I made them up. 
So I'm telling you, I've learned one thing all, through all of it, through 30 years. And there are people serving the Lord way longer, 40, 50, 60 years, way more powerful than what I've ever, yeah, I am or done. But the point that I've learned one thing, I place my trust in Jesus and Jesus alone. And that's what I'm telling you to do. Stop listening to a degree to all of this fluff and all the get your head, your mind, your spirit in the word of God, stay in it. Get under some good leaders that you could be groomed, groomed under. You don't need a lot of them. You need the right ones that'll give you the right key for the right season. You need the right people in your life to enter into covenant with that you can learn from in the right season. Hey, the Lord bless you in Jesus name.